Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Miss School. Today I am bringing you my favorite type of video and that is Monk Monday. This is Monk Monday number 109, I'm pretty sure. And for those who don't know what that is, you send any gameplay you have to this email right here. And I critique it, I review it, I go over your cooldowns, your teammates' cooldowns, anything. Miss Weaver, Windwalker, PvE, PvP, 2s, 3s, RBGs, Mythic Plus rates. It doesn't matter. Just send your gameplay in. Doesn't matter what MMR either. I, I've done all types of MMRs. Keystone levels, it doesn't matter. The, I feel like the best way to learn is to watch your own gameplay and have other people watch it. It's just, you just see things, you know, that you think you might be doing, but you're actually not. Trust me, every time I edit videos, I see things, some mistakes I'm making. So I think it's one of the best ways to learn. So today, we have Brewsome. I actually watch your stream sometimes, my guy. Um, and he says in the email, finally hit Duelist and Tuesday season with my patented Miss Weaver BM Hunter comp. Hell yeah, congratulations. I think I watched you play threes. I think I watched you play KFC one time. Uh, friends and I work on our threes play and trying out various comps, which seems to work best for us is uh, bastardized Cupid Cleave. <laughs> bastardized Cupid, Cupid Cleave. Threes feel like a whole nother game. It is. Uh, threes is very different from twos as, as far as like the pacing, the play style. It's much, much different than twos. Mm-hmm. How what I can do better to push beyond 1900-ish rating? Got five short games for you. I got you. I got all five right here. Uh, bonus points if you can find the most embarrassing leg sweep. Not as bad as mine. I can guarantee you it's not as bad as mine. A couple of things to note for your feedback. I've tried Necro multiple times. I always feel like I start losing games because I'm getting CC'd. Venter just feels more natural for me. And I like having the extra big cooldown to trade. Maybe this is just a symptom of bad positioning. Um, it might be. It might be. Uh, what I tend to do with Necrolord is I don't use Fleshcraft in the starting room. Um, I use Fleshcraft to avoid CC on one of the first or second goes that teams have. So keep that in mind. Um, I'm using Click for healing. It's just something I've always... Yeah, I, it was hard for me to break it too from uh, when I raided. I know it's not ideal, but the thought of change at, at that level seems overwhelming. Not opposed to baby stepping for different keybind setups, though, if you can point me some guidance. Yeah, so when I first started PvPing, I was a keyboard turn clicker. Like, I was, like, really I, not ideal. What I did, baby steps, one thing at a time. Literally just one thing, one keybind at a time. You know, make a keybind. First of all, make keybinds for you targeting your teammates. That's the first thing. Party one, party two, yourself. Mouse up, mouse down is what I use, and the middle mouse button press down is my keybinds for targeting. Um, and then from there, you know, get used to that, and then you know, start keybinding your important spells. You know, renewing mist, soothing mist is pretty important. But I would start with renewing mist because you know you're it's not that big a deal if you miss renewing mist or something. Um, but stuff like that, and then you just you know maybe enveloping mist after that. You know, maybe vivifies after that, and you just one after another. Don't do it all at once. That's what I try to do, and it was really bad. Um, but with that said, let's jump right into the games. We have Miss Weaver, Red, BM Hunter versus RMP two. All right, so we have Rogue Mage Priest. Ideally, I don't know what race you are. I'm a, I'm hoping you're Orc, but we're looking. I don't see anything. I don't see. I'm. I, let's just. Assume, it doesn't matter what race you are. Sephus is normally what I run versus this. I see that you're running Trinket, so I'm assuming you're not a human. If you're human, so I've been playing my human. I got. I. I we queued the RMPs. I was a little 50 50 on whether you should be Rally or um, Trinket versus it. I don't have IQD. If you do, if you're human and you have IQD, I would probably run Relentless instead of Trinket. If you're not human, I would just stay go Sephus and run Trinket. Um, but kill target is normally going to be rogue or mage. So this is, again, this is all, all about cooldown trading. RMP right here. So it's kind of weird that, actually, it's kind of weird that your, your red probably shouldn't be relentless. Because this right here is trinket, um, like, shield of vengeance. So this should be war of sacrifice from your hunter. And trinket, shield of vengeance from your red pally. But yeah, no. See, that's why right there. I, you could your ret could have bopped as well, but next go he wouldn't have bubble. So I think your ret needs to play trinket versus RMP. I I unless he's human. I unless he's human, I guess. But like I don't know. That seems I when I was playing with level and we were playing ret warrior and we came to RMP first go, especially with combustion shadow blades, trinket shield of vengeance or trinket BM shield of vengeance every time. So. Um, them getting bubble straight off the rip, it's not, not ideal. It's probably it's just going to be your trigger next go. We like sweep, but it was into evasion, which I think is okay, I guess. Um, position, yeah, positioning wise, we don't want to be here. We're not, we don't want to be here. This, this ain't it. Um, I would recommend this little, 
wagon over here if you want to be super annoying make it very difficult for them to get to you you could play in the starting room just because it forces the rogue to like really overextend and then also it forces the mage to like literally try to push through your team and hopefully you know you have you have bm hunter you have a rep alley hitting the mage so maybe it's a lot difficult to get to you um but right here in the middle of the map it, it, it ain't it um good job keeping the rogue in combat let's just make sure we know that's gs on the mage which is good that's a good cooldown we can hit the rogue now rop is good if we have a stun or something for the stroke incap on the priest here it don't matter it don't matter nice yeah no i like it the good thing about your comp is that it just i feel like bm hunters always have damage and so rep pallies have some damage but like they have they have like wings procs and all that but i feel like bm hunters always have damage uh the only problem with this this game right here one i don't play rep pally but i don't think rally is that good um for um rep pallies just because it, it you you just can't get the trinket when you need to i mean because it forces bubble straight off straight off the bat and then also positioning wise get to the wagon the tombstones over here are also pretty good this tombstone is really nice i really like that one starting room is good too just anywhere that's not in the middle of the map but good good rop because i mean i'm not gonna lie you basically won because of that rob so because misweavers are insane so all right we got some misweaver hero cleave so misweaver dk Demon Hunter. They're probably going to go into Rep Pally again. Rep Pally is a very squishy. I'm sure you'll find out. Or I'm sure you know. So, again, just play far away. If you want... it. Actually, you're playing with the BM Hunter. So, it's actually kind of good because they're both not going get, to get cleaved. Just make sure your teammates are spread out. And, like, you're, you're not stacked on top of each other. That's Hodge. Decent Hodge. But no CC on the... on on the. Wait, what? We just got IBF in that? Okay. I guess good Hodge. The, the Hodge was not that great because there was no CC on the Monk. Try to coordinate. Hey, I got in cap. I know you're playing with the Hunter, but most of the time BM Hunters don't really need to go for traps. So say, you know, I'm going for an in cap sweep. Can you Hodge? Yes, I can Hodge. All right, in cap the healer, Hodge the DPS, leg sweep off your your um your your in cap, and you're, then you're fine. Um, there's no dispel on the Hodge, and you're great. You can even have intimidation stun from your from your from your um your Hunter. So keep that in mind. Um, you got in cap there, which is good. It kind of it breaks, which is even better. That's IBF and, and AMS from the DK. So the DK is going to be struggling now. That's also our Fallen Order here and Darkness. We robbed. You could have robbed the Darkness here. I was could have robbed the Darkness. I don't know if it's going to be that big a deal. We'll see. Leg sweep. I mean, it's okay. Nice in cap. Good. I'm sure we always have damage rolling, so it's not that bad. They're actually overextending like crazy. This monk is probably not too happy right now. So... Good for you. That's our life cocoon on our hunter. Dispel the Hodge if you can. At, at that point, if it's too late, it's too late. I would, whenever there's like a half Hodge and I'm like, I got a stack of Cloud of Focus, I'm probably just going to heal. You know, that's that's just how it is. Um, we are playing Force Set 2. Um, we're kind of struggling right now. I don't know why though. Hodge, because like none of them are like hitting you. So yeah, there's our third of Focus T. We're hoping for like Soothing Mist into like Vivify's. And maybe into an enveloping mist would be nice. Um, nice. There we go. There we go. Phew, there it is. I mean, our healing's crazy. A lot of healing output. Other mist weavers using force set. Incap on you. Drop on you. Okay. They're obviously just trying to heal you right. Nice revival there with Peace Weaver. That's good. Essence fought as well for the bonus mastery. <clears throat> we're doing okay right now. Healing wise, we're doing fine, by the way. You're doing. I usually I'll comment. I mean, you know, I, I'll comment on healing if I see that you're healing. But if I don't mention it, you're healing fine. Like you're keeping your renewing mist out. Um, we should have one soon. Yeah, we actually have two charges. Our hunter doesn't have it, so might want to put it on the hunter. It's also going to drop on the ret, which, you know, I know there's some it's awkward times, but ideally it's just more healing. Monk has no trinket, though. Good in cap, so there's no, uh, or, or trap, so there's no, that was a DR in cap, barely. Or no, 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 I lied. Wait, is it, this the back? Like, okay, 15 seconds on, on like paralysis DR. Ideally, you kind of want to wait until it's full. I mean, there's 10 seconds, so half in caps normally aren't worth it. They just, you know, they're just not. They're just they're just not the best, you know. Um, plus, you're playing with the hunter, so if, if your hunter if your hunter is good and he's consistently landing traps, I wouldn't even bother in cap in the healer. What you should do with in caps, like truly, if, if your hunter is just landing every trap, in cap the off target. So if you're hitting, so here's what your go would look like. Stun into trap on the healer. You in cap the demon hunter. 
your your pally hodge is the dk boom all three of them are cc'd you can have that go every 30 seconds ish 40 seconds and you just keep trying to get a trinket from one of them and then eventually kill the death knight that that's your that's your goal you're trying to get triple cc get all of them cc'd at the same time coordinate it get it going trade some cooldowns uh they're still obviously still trying to kill your red so red's doing a really good job of just running away which is <laughs> kind of funny to watch um Revival from the Mistweaver, kick on you from the Death Knight. Again, yeah, positioning-wise, <sighs> we're kind of chasing, which, again, that's kind of your teammate's problem. Like, that's something your teammates are doing wrong. I I'm not. I'm very vocal about, uh, <laughs> about if my teammates are bothering me because I will tell them the I don't like this. Like, this positioning right here, I hate these stairs more than anything in this game. Every map, hate these stairs because they can go down here in LOS. They can go over here in LOS. No. Stay up top, get to a pillar, and then just heal from the pillar. Um, make it very difficult for this monk. Nice. See, there's a trap. Okay, perfect. So this is what I'm talking about right here. Trap on the monk means your pally should hodge the DK, and then you in-cap the demon hunter so he can't reverse any CC. That's that's the ideal situation. In-caps DR. Not bad. A flesh craft from the monk, so you can't see him right now. Um, if we have a leg sweep, that's actually good too. But again, the go is kind of over right now. Because again, the healer isn't an ACC. Especially versus Mist Weavers. We have so much healing output that like... If they're not in CC, you're probably just going to be able to heal. Oh, what? <laughs> As I say that, the DK gets slaughtered. Okay. What happens to DK? 40k health. Rop them far. Yeah, good. Um, the only thing I would say, this is one big thing that I actually learned in twos, which I'm sure I've watched you. You, you know, in twos, is just coordinating setups. Gets you. You don't dictate the goes. Your DPS do, and basically what I would do. But this is what this is what like if I was playing this comp, this is what I would say. I'd be like, how long on Hodge? And obviously you're tracking trap and Hodge, so you actually see it. Um, let me know. Let me know when I ink. Like, let me know when you're going for Hodge. Your deep, your rat will say, I'm going for Hodge. I'm going for a trap. Your hunter's going to say, I'm going for a trap. All right, cool. Your hunter gets the trap because it's the longest CC. Your rep pally is going to Hodge. You're going to in-cap the off DPS. Boom. Every time. Every go. But really good. Healing-wise, perfect. Um, Healing-wise was perfect. I got, I got, I got. No, positioning-wise, we were all over the map, but your team was too. So was the other team. Just try to get to a pillar um, and try your best not to chase. Like, tell your DPS, like, hey, be careful back there. I, I can't heal you back there. You're LOSing me. Something like that. You know, let them know that, uh, you know, they're LOSing you and, and you don't like it. You know what I mean? So, uh, we have some jungle here. So, same thing, probably. Honestly, I would maybe hit the, you could hit the hunter. You could hit the pharaoh. Sun on you. Nice port. Perfect. I don't know if he trapped. There we go. Perfect. I think we revivaled it. You could also taunt the pet. I see you have a taunt macro right here. Um, going for CC here on the priest. Beautiful. We got trinket from the feral druid, which is great. Don't stack on the priest in case he tries to trinket fear you. Cyclone on you. Hopefully he's kicked. Not. Nah, no. Nice pre cocoon though. Very, very good. Very, very heads up play there. That's, that's, that's insane. That's insane. Fear at half. This fear is nothing. We also have fallen order up. So nothing should die right now. Um, we're obviously playing. Um, what is it? Wasteland propriety, so we got the uh, we got the extra versatility, so nothing should really die, which is good. And uh, healing wise, doing fine. Reset your port, maybe I don't know. Did we reset it? I feel like we might have. No, we did not. So make sure you reset your port, um, just because they're probably gonna do another go on you. I feel like it's really great. Hodge. Oh, we got the dispel on the. Was it dispelled? I feel like it was. Um, yeah, it was. Um. If we had like some kind of CC on the priest here, this is probably gonna be the priest shrink, especially if we had damage. So just keep that in mind. I think the hunter might be an easier kill target as well. I mean, he kites, but definitely more squishy. So trap on you. Your pally has Bob. Your pally has Bubble. So we should be okay here. Careful, the priest pushing in for fear. Nice, nice root from the hunter. That's a really heads up play there. That's really good. Cyclone on you though. Uh, we're a sack from the hunter, from their hunter. And we're just doing okay. Careful, we got to heal. Okay, nice, nice. Good stun here. Hopefully we have a stun. Yes, yes. Look at this. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. I mean, we hodged a little late. 
But I mean, look at that. That's that's nice. That's good cross DC right there. We get Guardian Spirit from it. Look at that. That's beautiful. Look at this hunter dying too. Who knows? I'm not. Who's hitting this hunter? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> the BM hunter. <laughs> uh, Apotheosis is um, just extra CC, more healing. So uh, Cyclone on you. It's kind of annoying that he's getting these free clones on you, but. I mean, as long as your rep is able to kite, that's Shield of Vengeance, which is good. Um, scatter. Oh, he's playing Marks. I thought he was BM. Okay. Marks Hunter it is. I didn't see Resonating Arrow, which is interesting because I feel like Resonating Arrow is probably best. But there's a Hodge there. Try to get a CC on the... He's DR'd on everything, though. Todd? Nope. Never. <laughs> it, it, this, it's... This, uh... So, this is actually a really good, like, example right here. This Hodge is, like, really, really good. But we have no CC for the priest. This this Feral's dead, a hundred percent. If we just get anything, if we had anything like a stun, intimidation stun, a leg sweep. No, we don't have leg sweep. So it, it's it's. Wait, what do we leg sweep? Oh, we leg sweep the priest here. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay, that's fine. All right, that's fine. Next go, I'm, I think next go we win. Like I'm, I'm pretty sure next go we win. All right, let's skip that. Survival instincts from the Pharaoh. Yeah, yeah, and that's uh the flesh crap. Good, nice revival on that trap as well. Really insane. All right, we're just chilling right now. Priestess Um, which is what you got going for you. Careful! Oh my god! Oh my god! Careful! Oh, whoo! They could have swapped you there, but that was actually good. Really good leg sweep. That's what I'm talking about. You see how like the double leg sweep just. It just ends the game. It's nice. You got a nice little double leg sweep. Actually, he was dead before his leg sweep, but this was really good. Really good game here. Um, Positioning wise, you were fine. Healing wise, you kill it. I don't know how you're only 1900. I'm gonna be like up like 100% real with you. Don't know how. I I, I played. I like. I don't know. Ret warrior's kind of tough. Ret warrior's definitely tough. Uh, they're probably just gonna run at your ret. I would. Oh. Who are you? Okay. This is... Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Stormbolt. Okay. Nice. Nice. That's Hodge. We cocooned. Dispel the Hodge if you can. Definitely try to dispel Hodge, like, ASAP. But, I mean, this is a lot of damage from us. Go for an in-cap on the Shaman. Uh, yeah, I would go for something on the Shaman. This might be our bubble. Nice revival. That's Trinket. Um, revival. So, like, this is definitely positioning right here. This, this right here is... Um, Definitely a positioning issue because, like, we're we, we're life cocooned, right? We life cocooned, but the rep alley basically just pressed wings. Our life cocoon is definitely gonna like get explode soon. So, Rhett's Rhett's got damage, uh, for sure. Like, and we go in line of the shaman. So don't ever, honestly, when I play against a shaman, I try to line the shaman more than the DPS because they can hex. They can slow, they can cheer, they can root you. They they, they have so many ways to interrupt a Mistweaver. It, it gives me a headache almost. So what you want to do is never, ever be in line of this Shaman ever. Do your best not to. Because then you're just forced. Do you get kicked? Yeah. And then even, but like even in general, even if it wasn't a Shaman, the, the warrior gets a, gets a fear on you. Nice strength on the fear, which is fine. Actually, Pally had bubble, right? Pretty sure Pally, Pally had Sank too. Can't can't you Sank Fear? I'm pretty sure you can Sank Fear, so you probably didn't, didn't need to trinket this. This was just like um, positioning and maybe rotating cooldowns because we revivaled, we life cocooned. Wait until the burst is over. Like we're only halfway through wings though. We're, we're, we're only halfway done. You know, we've used every cooldown we have. So I would say, you know, don't push in for CC until your teammates are fine like first and foremost you know make sure your teammates fine and then go for cc even though an in cap let me tell you something in cap on that ceiling surge would be freaking amazing in cap while you're locked out right here oh my god but that's okay that's all right um it mostly comes down to uh positioning in line of the shaman just don't you'll get kicked so many ways to interrupt you and then your pally i mean to be fair your pally could have sank your fear pally could have bopped your fear could have bobbed himself, could have bubbled. So, you know, they were they were cooldowns that couldn't be used. So, uh, just keep that in mind. Um, otherwise, I mean, it was a short game, so I don't know. But this was just poor rotation of cooldowns and not using buttons, which which happens. And, you know, happens to me sometimes, too. So, no, but it's not a big deal. Uh, RMP is fun. Uh, sub. Um, so, hopefully, you're playing Eminence. Talents, I would play versus Eminence and Focus T. Peace Weaver. Those three. 
Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to port when you get stunned. Because they can try to kill you. Um, or if they're trying to get a poly on you, port it. Peace Weaver, use it when you see combustion. Zen Focus T when you get out of CC. Boom. Best three talents. Uh, I think you're out of range of port. All right, good. Okay, you know, you're back, you're back, you're back. Stay there. Don't go anywhere. No, don't go too far. All right, they're all out. They just all run into a flare or something. That was weird. I've never seen that before. <laughs> Priest is, or the mage is hella undergeared, by the way. This is kill target. Yeah. That's 80. That's a less than 80,000 health. Yeah, I would probably just go on the mage. Hodge. Trinket. Oh my lord. Okay. Trinket from the rogue on that first Hodge is really nice. We get triple feared. That's normally why you don't try to stack against RMP, especially with like DB and, and all that. It looks like they're trying to kill your little rep pally. That's bubble straight off the rip. Hopefully we get a stop for the MD. <laughs> we don't. So that's okay. I mean, it, that's fine. Uh, it looks like we fort brood and use fallen order. We just use a lot of cooldowns. Um, we used a lot. Didn't have to, I don't think. Um, this could have been probably just a revival because it's combustion. Could have been a Zen Focus T loop, but I just don't like that we're in the middle of the map right now because I think we're going to get polyed. Okay, Red Pally gets polyed. They're just going to stall out until next go. Even though Rogue is definitely killed her, we incap the Rogue by accident, hopefully. Could have incapped the Priest. And uh, I believe it on Shrop. Okay. I would get to a pillar, blind on you. They're not doing much with it. There's no. Okay, There's there it is. There it is. Hopefully, Bop. Nice Bop from your Pally. That's really good. Even if he steals it, it's okay. Even if you purge, it's fine. He gets out of the bomb, which is great. Okay, Shadow Dance. Or not Shadow Dance. I would keep the Shrogan Combat. Yeah, you want to keep the Shrogan Combat as much as you can. Like, never never let a rogue get a resell for free. Like, really make him work for it. Make him use some mobility at least. That's Shadow Steps. That's good. Stun on you. Fear on you. Um, mind Games as well. Trinket Revival from you. Which, and Cocoon. Okay. Um... Probably didn't have to cocoon there. Probably could have just Zen Focus Teed and healed, but that's fine. Leg Sweep? Nope. That's okay. He has Holy Word up, so it would have been worth it. Priest Priest is going to come in for a fear. Symbols doesn't really matter. Yeah, they're just uh, they're just stalling. They're just stalling right now. Wait. Was that the Leg Sweep you were talking about? The Leg Sweep into Fade? Trust me. I've I've missed many many leg sweeps. <laughs> um, I think overall we're doing okay. Let's alter time two from the mage at 100% health with no damage going out right now. So uh, next go needs to be something. It needs to be uh, I don't know. We got no trinkets. We're we're struggle busting right now. So this is where you'd port right here. Yeah, that's the problem being out of range of port. Shield of vengeance. Give me a Zen focus TB. Damn, that, I so close. This right here um, is kind of why you stay like close to the pillar, but like stay in range your port. Because when they go for a cheap shot on you, when you play Eminence, you can just port it. Um, but we did use a lot of cooldowns in the opener. I honestly think it's because we're playing. Like I think it's because we're playing Rally or something. I, I don't know. I feel like you, the Rep Pally needs to not use Bubble first go versus RMP. It's just like Trinket, BM, Shield of Vengeance. It makes your Shield of Vengeance better. And then you can just live in line like that. That's that's what I did. What that's what my rep pally did when I play with them. So I think Rally's a little weird, and that's that's why we're kind of losing RMP. Um, also, staying stacked is kind of kind of awkward too versus RMP. Um, if we if we're playing Sank as well, we probably could have. Let me see. Blind. No, he bopped there, which is good. Bopped himself. We could Sank maybe, but we also used a lot of. Wait, what did we trinket here? Stun on us? Yeah, we could have ported the sphere. A hundred, but again, we're stacked. So this is also a positioning issue as well. Like, triple fears should never, ever, ever be happening when you're playing Cupid. You're playing with a hunter. You're playing with a ranged, a melee, and a healer. You guys should never, ever, ever be stacked. Especially for a triple fear. So this is also positioning right here. Don't, like, have your rep pally in. Have your hunter, like, way over here. Over here by the pillar. And you're on the other side. And that's, like... Make it very difficult for them to CC you. Um, because then this... Ha well, actually, you didn't have to trinket this as well. Right? If you're if you're Red's playing Blessing of Sank... Sure, we get feared here. Right? Kidney shot. Oh, no. Is he kidney? Oh, he's kidney. Never mind. It's fine. Never mind. 
he, he got kidnapped. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, the games from what I saw really weren't really weren't that bad. Uh, this first game, really good ROP, really good ROP. Uh, positioning wise, get to the get to the wheelbarrow, bear, wheelbarrow over here, or the great or the tombstones over here. Besides that, really good ROP positioning wise. Just make sure you're just out from the middle of the map. Um, this one right here. Oh, it was good. This one was good. Healing wise, you did fine. Yeah. Um, don't forget to heal. I think there was one part like uh, here. Yeah. We. I don't. I. Don't, it was kind of weird. Like he was. He was. <laughs> you're right. It was at low health for so long. Like right here. I don't know why we weren't. Just don't forget to heal. But besides that, uh, this game went pretty well for you. Um, jungle was really good. This. This was a really good game. Focus on cross cc don't just have your your rep alley's first global let's just say it is hodge like it's fine if it is because you can just hodge wings make sure at least you get an in cap on the healer that way the healer doesn't get a free dispel you know um your hunter can also intimidation stun or trap out of stealth that's what I, that's what happened that's what the cupid's iq to do the hunter plays stealth they'll get a trap on me from stealth and then the pally hodges so i'm in a trap the healer the rep pally hodges dps there's another cc on the off target boom everyone cc'd and then they net like a trinket or a cooldown and that's what you keep trying to do do it over and over and over again and eventually you get a kill much easier um this <coughs> excuse me this one uh basically positioning issue from your side just because try to line the shaman because he's, he's already going in for a hex man like he, he was going for a hex on you probably but uh it was positioning. Don't try to push it on a shaman, especially when the when the red pally is doing damage, and your pally also had cooldown. So, I mean, I'm not gonna tell you. I mean, you're, you're, you and your pally know to use cooldowns. Um, so yeah, just rough rough loss. It's okay though. I mean, it happens. Uh, this one was fine. Just remember to port while stunned, and don't stack ever. That's positioning wise. Don't ever ever in a million years stack, especially versus rogue mage priest that can punish it with triple eb, triple fear, triple rings. Don't. Don't do, don't let that happen. Um, but yeah, that's I mean that's pretty much it. Games were good. And then you said I have a funny minor made. Let me see. <sighs> Mistweaver rampage. Mistweavers do no damage. Let me shut off my music. I don't know if you can hear it. Mistweavers do no damage. Everyone. Oh my god. Yeah, I guess what? Now we're gonna get <laughs> Yeah, you have all killing blows. Damn it, bro. This is me. <laughs> this is actually kind of funny. Um I tried the other day. I trinketed for a touch of death because I thought it was gonna work. And it didn't. We still won the game, but I, I need to tell myself to stop doing that because I know touch of death doesn't ever work. <laughs> but that is really funny. When touch of death does work though. Oh, it's so satisfying, man. Where is it? Oh, Boom. Oh. <laughs> I love that voice. I love Bob Burger. Oh, that's so funny. Um, I love that. But yeah, great games. I don't see how you're stuck at 1900, though. I think just focus on keeping your teammates alive. In cap when you ride Pally Hodges and position far away behind a pillar, and you guys will be fine. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I am more than happy to answer any questions you might have, and that's it for me. Hope everyone's a fantastic rest of the day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later.